Well, we fought hard and we didn't give up. I know there was a time in the game when we got down, I think maybe 13 or 14, and you know, it would have been easy to just just crumble and give in and all we gave it our best, but no, we fought and then ended up taking the lead. So I just saw a lot of fight in this team and we needed to see that even though we didn't come out with the win, but we're not satisfied with that. We, we wanted to win, but if you want to take something out of it, yeah, we fought hard. Dusty, what were your thoughts on that? Yeah, I thought that as well. You know, there's no moral victories, but we have we played hard. And, you know, it was just kind of like the Stanford game, a game that we feel like we should have came away with. You, you look at Evans, they got all five starters back. We've been in 24 games. You know, they're maybe not a, a name that resonates with the fans, but what do you guys think? It seems like you're playing a lot of these kind of teams. Akron, you know, a lot of guys back, mm -hmm. maybe better than their reputation. What, what, what do you think about this schedule? Um, it's, just, it's a good schedule, you know. Uh, just like you said, Akron and, you know, Evansville, I'll watch them play when we were in New York. They're they're a good team. And um, <clears throat> especially when you're 7-1, and one, bringing back starters, uh, you know, they're a team that it's forced to be reckoned with, for sure. What, what's your thoughts on that, man? What, what yeah. impressed you about Yeah, that? I mean, their record tells it all, too. 7-1, and one, they played a good schedule. And the five starters, Back for the third year in a row, that's like unheard of in college basketball. So it, it'll be it'll be a dog fight. We got to come out ready, just like any other game. You know, a lot of these mid majors don't have the one and done, but they just have guys. You know, the coaches stick around, the players are in the system. How tough is it to play these kind of teams? Oh, uh, it's, you know, it's it's college basketball. It's a bunch of parity and everything in, in this sport, and these teams are good. Like you're not. You're not going up any bad, going up against any bad teams, you know, on any night really. All these guys, they know how to play basketball. They don't care about what uh, the name is on the front of your jersey. They just want to beat you. So it, it's fun, but yeah, you just you got to know that you're gonna play good people every night. Andy, before the Wake Forest game, Coach Anderson said he thought that you needed to get into the offense more, shoot more. I mean, did you kind of take that upon yourself the last game? With I just I just want to win. I mean, yeah, I think there's times where I need to be a little bit more aggressive, and I'm getting I'm gonna start doing that. But you know, I just want to win. And any when I'm in the game, I just the one thing on my mind is okay, what play can I make here to help us win? And it might not be scoring, or it might be scoring. So that's what I just look at, like just helping the team win at all costs. I think we got 20 assists, three turnovers. Can you talk about how well you take care of the ball? Uh, oh, that's what the, on the season it is. Uh, oh, uh, you know, I just I pride myself on my basketball IQ. Uh, I've been around the game a lot. Uh, I know the game. I study it, and I just take that out on the court with me. I just try to make the smart plays. And coach always preaches how you don't always have to have the home run plays. And I'm I'm a guy that really listens to that because you know I I might not be able to make that pass the spectacular pass, but I'll pass it to the guy who can make it. So it's just, just like coach calls them singles. And I pride myself on just making the simple plays. Because basketball, if you make the game simple, it's, just, it's easier. It's not no reason to make it hard. And that's what I like to do. For both you guys, Jarrell's got a really great assistant turnover ratio. What, what are you seeing from him that's different now? I mean, obviously, he's getting more playing time. What are you seeing that's different about his game as, as opposed to last year? He's already got more assists than he had all the last year. Um, Jabril's always been that way. There's nothing really new. You just He's always been a guy with great vision. And, uh, you know, just like you said, the opportunity has presented itself. And, you know, he's been just showing that, that he can really pass the ball. And uh, we need him to keep doing that. Yeah, no, Jabril's one of those guys you love having on your team because he just makes everybody better. Uh, he uh, He's quick and he can just break down the defense and when everybody collapses on him he's so good at just finding an open man and he'll find people that we don't even see like we don't even know that they're open but he's just got that keen eye for seeing the open man and he's showing it he says it makes him he likes getting an assist more than he likes getting a basket because on assist too you know he's happy and the guy mm -hmm. scores happy well what do you think about his attitude about that oh yeah he He'll get a nice assist and he'll look over at the bench like he just got an and one dunk. You know, that's just kind of what gets him going is that that dribble, dribble, penetrate, and then nice pass to uh, one of our shooters or one of the big guys just to get everybody going. And then on defense, he's being great harassing other guards. But yeah, he just, 
he loves getting that assist. That gets him going. Justin, can you go back and talk about that tweet a little bit? Uh, you know, we started the, the, just what was going through your mind, and, and, and what do you feel about this team as far as what y'all could be down the line? I think we can just be very good, and you know, um, people get down on early season. I mean, as you can see with the football team and stuff, and uh, you know, I was just only thing that was on my mind was that I was really like I was really proud and I could feel that that we're going to do what people don't think we can do this year and uh, uh, I'm just I'm excited to get back you know I'm ready to leave here and go practice and every day get better and you know by conference play I think we're going to be you know a way more cohesive unit than we were at the beginning of November and and that's you know that's the goal for any team is that something when you got back home or like on the bus to the airport? Or what, what exactly did you send? Uh, don't know. Uh, bus, I guess. Bus to the airport from, from, from Wake Forest. Forest. Uh, man, you're shooting like 56% of your career. Do you think you can shoot more? Dusty is a guy Mike's said, you know, you like to shoot. Well, what do you think? Do you think you think should shoot more? Uh, yeah. <laughs> yep. <laughs> sure. Uh, you can, I can't tell Manny how to, Manny's he's IQ is the reason his shot percentage is high you know he he knows what the right shots to take right pass to make uh, right place to be on defense and you know that shows with your field goal percentage you know you you know the best shot to take and and he does that do you think you're getting more comfortable shooting more, scoring more, taking on a bigger scoring role? Oh, yeah, uh, definitely. I'm, like, everybody on this team's in different roles than they were last year. So we knew, it, we knew it would be a little bit before everyone settled in and figured out what they bring to this team. But, yeah, I, I just – my biggest thing is I've always wanted to help the team win. So – and I, everyone knows I'm a defensive energy guy. And I, I do believe that – I. For us to be successful, I do have to be more aggressive at times on offense. I don't think that no one need to go out and be like, okay, I got to score all these points and do all this, but I do need to be more aggressive. And and I, I'm just working every day, like Dusty said, ready to go practice, and that's where, that's where it starts. Does your basketball IQ tell you that Bob's doing a feature on him? I'm just trying to gather. <laughs> I'm gathering. I'm gathering. <laughs> one, one. A couple more guys. You guys got finals and whatever. <laughs> Um, Manny, did, did, did the coaches tell you, like, in practice or games, hey, shoot, shoot, you got to shoot more? Did, did they do that? Uh, they, and not really in games, but, like, afterwards and stuff. They're like, hey, you know, take the shots if you, if you got them, if they're leaving you right there or backing off you. Because my personal thing is when I get consistent with that, the little mid-range shot or shot that they're giving me, I honestly think that my game will just – like open up entirely because I, I do feel like it's tougher to stay in front of me being a bigger guard. So yeah, I'm just working every day because I, I see I see the, the light at the end of the tunnel and it's bright. I just got to keep working every day and, and I'll get it. It's just for both. Just trying to play the defense that you want to play with so few players. Just just how tough is it and kind of how what have you had to, to modify it? Um. You know, the only modification is to go harder and, you know, f keep keep fixing this. Like at the end of the game when we were, we were in that zone, I thought we were really causing them a lot of problems. Uh, we, were, we were flying around everywhere. We were closing up that middle. And, um, you know, we got a, a bunch of consecutive stops when we needed them. We just, you know, one or two didn't go our way. But I, th I think our defense is growing better every day. Yeah. How have you seen Manny's offensive game, I guess, evolve since the two years you've been here? Um, he's, I noticed he's just a big body, you know, uh, that fouled a bunch in pickup when you were guarding him and flopped a lot. But uh, no, he's, he's got a really good floater game. Uh, I noticed that because I, I use a floater and I, I noticed his and was like, oh, that's a, that's a really nice floater he's got. And, you know, he's a strong body and it, it's really hard when he gets ahead of steam to get him to stop coming into the lane.